Hi, this is Ms. Conley, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about spring scales. Sometimes they're called Newton meters or force meters. They've got like several different names, but basically they are to measure the force needed to move things or push things, pull things, hang things. Um, first thing I want to talk about, um, well, this is a spring scale or a Newton meter, um, but the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that you can break them. Um, the scales get really, uh, or the springs get really stretched out. So don't do and yank it really hard because that will overstretch the spring. And as you'll see here, this spring is pretty much toast. So that one is ruined. So please do not yank really hard on them. Use the appropriate scale for the appropriate mass item that you're, you, that you're going to be measuring. If you got like a little item like a, um, a stapler, you want to use something that has, you know, a small number of newtons that it's going to measure. If you want to use a newton meter for something large like a disc, you're going to use a much larger newton, scale, uh, newton meter, like 100, 200, I don't know, something very large. Um, which brings me to the fact that they come in different strengths or sizes. This one, as you can see, goes to 5 newtons. Um, this one here goes to 100 newtons. So, um, you need to choose the appropriate one for what you're lifting. Little bitty 5 newton one, that one should be for little things. Great big 100 newton one, that should be for larger things. Um, if you notice on the Newton meter, there is a zero at the top, which doesn't quite make sense with us sometimes because a thermometer goes with the zero at the bottom. But the reason why the zero is at the top for this is because it's, you, as you pull, you're adding more force. And if you see, as we add more force, the number gets greater and greater as we go down. So that's why the zero is up at the top. Um, if you'll notice, I have like a little tiny indicator here. It's like a little line. What I want to point out right now is that that little line is not on the zero. This is something a lot of people miss on these. What you have to do is you have to kind of check these as you're using them and do what we call calibration, which is putting that notch back to zero. Um, if you don't keep checking this and you use it over and over and over again, you're going to end up with inaccurate measurements of things. Um, somehow your numbers will be greater and greater and greater as you go on. And you'll think, oh, I'm, I'm getting heavier things when it's still, it's still the same thing that you're measuring. So to fix that, all Newton meters, spring scales, have got these dials at the top. And you turn it and turn it and turn it until the zero and the little line match up. And I think I've just about got it. i got to turn it to myself to make sure. Oh, a little too much. So there we go. Now the little line is pointing directly to the zero, and I'm ready to measure something. You can hang things from them. You can drag things across the surface with them. The only limitation is that they don't measure the force of push because, well, it's got a hook, not a thing to push something with. But you could always rig something up with string to see how a push can be measured by a Newton scale. Sometimes you have to get a little creative. So that's Newton meters, spring scales, and um, please remember to recalibrate every time you use it. Just make sure that little line is on the zero. Thanks. Bye-bye.